So in the farm, how did because there are many aspects that are covered many, many aspects, that only each aspect could be a separate film on its own. Absolutely. Yeah. So, what was the decisive factor of what you included, number one, and number two, how did you come to choose the specific speakers that you did? That's a good question. Well, first the speakers, because it starts with the speakers. So basically the process is you go around the world for two, three years and you collect. You are a mad collector, you sit down like tonight and improvise, take your camera, so you start talking, to engage in the conversation and you collect, and you collect. And you end up with three, four hundred hours of footage. Probably five hundred interviews with five hundred brilliant women. Now, once you've done that, at one point, either you're totally mad and you lose yourself and the movie never happened, or you say, I got the instinct, I've been a little bit pushing the envelope, we should be fine, we have enough information, now let's look at the information. So you go into the editing room with your editor, which in my case is a woman, I'm embarrassed to know. And uh, you look at it, and it's interesting because you start looking at and finding a pattern. Everybody is in this 500 interview is more or less talking about the three to five crucial points. Where do we come from? Where are we now? And where are we going? So where we come from? Were there a time when we were not the victim of this ultra patriarchal macho dominant killing system? Yes. Where are we now? We are raped, violated, abused, destroyed. Where do we go next? It's gonna be okay. And it's interesting because all of the women address me three primal issues and that's details. You know, sometimes we deal about religion, or we deal about the environment, or we deal about the economics. So basically, to answer your question, you really work with a very focused mind, having an overall vision, and you let the movie direct itself. And as you edit it, you put all of the answers about where we come from, where we are, where we go, and then within these boxes, you try to articulate a dialogue between all these women, more, more actually than a dialogue, a continuation of a sentence, and you build what is almost a perfect puzzle. It's never perfect. It's like when you're a painter or an architect or a mason, you know, you build you this architectural piece and you, you do as good as you can. And, you know, and people say, oh, you'll be too long, oh, you're missing this. Yeah, I, I know, I know. But the point is, I think the movie at the end answer enough question in 90 minutes and hopefully trigger, which is most important, enough question between you and give you enough solution within you that you want to move forward. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's exactly uh, what the, the, the movie does uh, empower us all to do. We've done a number of screenings all around, and, and so I've watched the film a number of different times, and I was telling you earlier, every time I watch the film, I get something different out of it, and you pointed it out, which I hadn't really thought of. Every time I watch it, I'm in a different place. I've, I've had a year, six months, three months, two months, one month's worth of additional experience. But I will say this, and I, you know, I'm an emotional person um, by nature. But every time I watch this film, it it almost brings me to tears, which uh, for me is. A celebration of the simple fact that I still have my heart in spite of all of the uh, the destruction and the news and you know what was relevant when we were filming and you know some of the comments relate to that time which was 2008 2009 2007 um, and um, and it's relevant today with uh, with the atrocities taking taking um, place in France at the moment so you know, there, there's almost no change, but 
there's hope, and that's what we all have to work towards. But the every single time, and I sometimes will sit on my phone and take notes, and it always gets back to that one point, and it's act. Where, the, where the, the lady is saying we must act. If you want change with the, with the water, you must act. If you want change within your community, you must act. Stop talking about it and do something. And in the room, when we were doing the panel questions after, and we're talking about each individual experience, and you know, I kind of feel silly because I'm just a lady who runs a couple businesses and I feel upset because men try, try to keep me under their thumb where I'm surrounded by women who have been in, in horrific situations and you realize that each and every one of them and myself included we've stood up and acted we've taken some action in our communities and in our circumstances so the answer to the question when anybody's asking after they've watched the film what can we do anything act if you felt moved by, by any part of this, the high school student that stood up and said, what can we do, what would you do about act, that girl's perfectly placed, that, that young high school student, to take that film to her high school, to every high school in the area. And that's how you start to share the message. And that's why you want to cry, because you want to get that message out. And one person can't, but the armies can't. And, and I would, I would add one more thing is that, you know, the notion of acting, you know, actually it's the last sentence of the previous movie, Invocation, let's become peace in action, which was a Sharon Stone sentence, quote. Um, what, because what do we mean by acting? What we mean by acting is you have to run for office. Running for office means you get involved at any level you can to make a difference. So whether it's your school, whether it's your church, whether it's your social group, whether it's your political group, I want you to stop being lazy on your couch, switch off the TV, switch off the iPad, get out and run for office. Get involved. That's who you are. That's how you really change the world. By really being involved and being an agent of change, being the change you want to see in the world.